When it comes to clown ball pythons, do you like the very busy pattern or do you like the very clean pattern? Hey Royals, welcome to a midweek update. In this video, I'm gonna give you an update on some of the hatchlings from two of my clown clutches and they are available on Morph Market. Not all of them, just most of them. Take a look at this. These shed gods have graced us with this beautiful girl that just shed out. And yes, I said shed gods. Uh, we know we have odd gods in this hobby. Um, so I think that for those of us who post things on social media, make YouTube videos, reels, take pictures. Um, even if you're trying to take a picture for a morph market post, you kind of have to abide by the uh, rules that the odd gods have set up. <laughs> because we want to show these animals in all their beauty and glory. And uh, we want to make sure that we are taking pictures of them in their true colors. And I think you have to wait a couple days after they shed to really, really pick up on that. Um, but yeah, this is a pastel yellow belly spot nose clown. Um, that's my educated guess. These are all guesses. I don't know until they prove out, especially when we start adding more and more genes. So yeah, these are just educated guesses. A little disclaimer there. Um, you can see she's got some size to her already. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. She's just, she's gorgeous and she's mad. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her away. Oh, the shed gods are playing nice today. Look at this one. This one just shed as well. Now this is a power ball, which is a fancy way of saying super spot nose. And just look at all the oranges coming in through here. Now, now, I don't know if I mentioned that the dad could have been a Russo. At least he was purchased as a Russo. Um, pastel spot nose Russo clown. It's really hard to spot Russo in these combinations. Again, it's because they're combined with multiple genes, so it becomes incredibly difficult. Uh, and plus, Russo is a very subtle gene. I think it would be a lot easier um, if there weren't as many genes. Well, I kind of know that it would be easier if there wasn't many genes. But yeah, this is a Powerball Het Clown possible Russo. And this is a male, so everything that he produces is going to have spot nose at a minimum. And we know how much spot nose goes well with um, with clowns. It's kind of like it's, it's, it's needed. I think at this point, um, we all know that spot nose and clown go really really well together and so anything without that is tough to beat to be honest it's tough to beat not saying that you can't beat it there are a lot of beautiful clowns without spot nose but spot nose any any of those that don't have spot nose if you add spot nose i guarantee it's going to make it better that's all i got to say out of this whole clutch i'll be honest this is the one that i have my eye on now she's not even a visual clown, but she is spot nose, yellow belly. And if I had to bet money, if there's Russo, this is the girl that I would bet on. She just seems more richer, more orange in color. Um, let's just look at that flame. Look how orange that flame is. Of course, the yellow belly will add to that, but um, there's another animal in here I had another animal that is a yellow belly spot nose. Um, I sold that one already, so I don't really have anything to compare. But when they were hatchlings, um, and I'll put a video on the corner here. I did do a little bit, little bit of a comparison when they were when they were smaller, when they were younger, when I had that other male, um, and you can see a little bit of a difference in color tone. But now that she is a little bit up to size, not up to size, has a little bit more size to her. You definitely can see how much more orange and rich these colors are. So if I have this one on Morph Market, I don't think I have this one on Morph Market, to be honest. But if I do, uh, I 
think I have to take that off. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what else I hatch. And, uh, you know, the, the good thing about breeding these is you, you get to be your own best customer. So you get first dibs and uh, you get to keep what you want. Having a tough time deciding on this one, though. And where there's smoke, there's bound to be fire. This is a firefly pet clown. And then over here, we have a visual clown. And I'm not sure if this one is just that or if it could possibly also have Orange Dream. But uh, there is one in this clutch that's very similar to this that I believe has the Orange Dream. And I'll get that one out in just a second. But check out the difference an additional copy of the clown gene does to these animals. So this one is basically um, missing one copy of the clown gene because it's a het. Firefly Head Clown and Firefly Clown. That is awesome. Look how bright they are. And these two are definitely on Morph Market already. Wow. So let me go ahead and show you the other one that looks like this that I'm I'm pretty positive has the orange string. So earlier you saw the Firefly Clown, which is Fire Pastel Clown. This one right here is the pastel orange dream clown if i can get this little one to open up a little bit oh these are ball pythons that's why and then over here we have what i was saying earlier i believe this to be the orange dream firefly clown look at it so it's much cleaner than the firefly that you saw earlier the firefly clown um, the Firefly Clown had a lot of kind of dirtiness along the back. Also, it had more grayish uh, dorsal, more silver and grays in the dorsal, which a little bit wider and thicker. Um, the Orange Dream adds a little bit more black, deepens the blacks of the dorsal, and uh, tightens it up a little bit. I really like this look a lot. So I think this one is the Orange Dream version. Um, these are both Orange Dream. I wanted to put these side by side for you so you can see the difference that fire makes. Uh, they're not cooperating. All right, so I think this is better. Uh, orange ring. <clears throat> so right here you can see. <clears throat> so I want to give you a better look at these two and the difference between these two. Oh boy, is fire. All right, I'm going to put these away. So last two from the clutch real quick. This might be another orange dream pastel clown. Actually, I don't know what else it could be. So I think this is just that. This is the one that I'm questioning. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny how like the one with the least amount of genes is the one I'm questioning. Look how clean it is. I mean, that dorsal stripe is super clean, almost blade-like. Um, the, the sides are kind of bright and orange, but the head doesn't really speak orange dream to me. So right now, these are listed on Morph Market. This one is listed as just a clown, um, but it could possibly be Orange Dream. I don't know. So that is it for these guys. That's it for this clutch. So we went through quite a few hatchlings, and I think you guys can kind of tell which ones are my favorites. But I want to hear from you. Which ones do you guys like best? Tell me down in the comments below. That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and remember, Royals for life. Peace out.